the work started when Jason Mercer, a postdoc, a fellow from the United States, arrived in the lab and he had a vial particle which was labeled such that it's fluorescent. One of the core proteins, capsid proteins called A5, had a GFP, green fluorescent protein tag. And the virus is perfectly infectious but fluorescent. So the first thing he saw was that this virus also surfs on philopodia. So the cell is, host cell is out here and you can see the virus moving along philopodia and uh, for all we know this is also happening through actin retrograde flow last like uh, the papilloma virus and um, this phenomenon as I said was first seen by Walter Mottes and co-workers for other viruses. Here however something else happens follow what happens when the virus over here arrives at the cell surface So this is speeded up, so after uh, virus arrival at the cell surface, a bleb forms from the plasma membrane of the host cell. It grows for about 20 to 30 seconds and then in the following 20 to 30 seconds it retracts. And the bleb forms first where the virus is located and later on all along the cell surface. You can see that spreading. Here again the same virus is down here you can see the blebs moving up the cell body. So the whole cell becomes globally modified. That plasma membrane starts to blow out in blebs in many different places, up to 120 blebs per cell. So obviously the virus here is inducing a change in the bleb. It's probably inducing a signaling pathway, activating something which induces the formation of, of membrane blebs. Such, such blebs have been seen before for in other situations which do not involve viruses, but not for viruses. And what we know about this blebbing is that it's very similar to what one finds during cell division, apoptosis, cell motility. A new technique uh, <coughs> called FIBSEM or electron microscopy has allowed our co-workers at ETH to look at this phenomenon in three dimension using electron microscopy and what you see here is going through a thick section of cells with a viral particle shown in quite uh, light color. It's better appreciated if we look at it in three dimensions. The viruses have been pseudo colored red here and what you see is that the cell surface is modified. You have these blebs forming and the viral particles seem to be endocytosing on the back side of the flat blebs into the cell. What you also can see here are the philopodia which extend out along which the viruses move towards the cell. So this is very unusual but it, it enforces the idea that this virus is triggering a change in its host cell, complex change. <coughs> 